Today's feature is on Tomica latest August release. For red box, we have the Kawaii Honda E and also the highly anticipated Ferrari Roma pair in regular and first color release. For Tomica Premium, we have the GTR R50 by Itel Design, also available in regular and commemorative color release. And now let's take a closer look at the cute Honda E casting. Standard packaging box with a new for 2021 sticker in 50th anniversary theme. Surprise, the backup card is included. First impression, the casting is very cute. It's in a black and white panda theme. There's no plastic insert component for the headlights, only standard painted. Details wise for the main line is average. Headlights are painted together with the Honda badge. Overall casting is very clean with basic details. All black button wheel sets with standard suspension with no opening parts. Likewise for the rear is painted details as well similar to the front. Color scheme is very basic with just black and white that is very clean. Overall and average casting and the huge contrast against the Ferrari Roma pair. Plastic base and the scale is 1 is to 61. Next, the Ferrari Roma is signature Ferrari red. Standard packaging box together with the Ferrari license sticker. The license is still under Meichong Group and Burago. First impression is a very stylized casting. The paint job is looking great and looking premium. Headlights are painted, which I'm a little bit disappointed. But Tomica did put some effort on the grille area with some fine prints with the Prancing Horse logo. The Ferrari badge is sharp. Premium looking casting in the stylized red. Racing wheels with standard suspension without any opening parts, just like the rest of the Ferrari casting. Basic details on the rear with a sharp Ferrari logo including the workmark. But overall a premium looking casting that is definitely a collectible. Next, the Ferrari Roma in first color release. Likewise, standard license info including information on the pack. Scale for the Roma is 1 is to 62. The first color Roma sports a gun metal body. All the details are similar as the regular color except for the difference in body color. Similar painted headlights with printed details on the grille. Similar sports wheel sets and for the rear very basic details with only painted rear lights. Like the overall curve and styling of this casting that makes it look very elegant. The Ferrari badge is very legible including the workmark. Although the specs are totally similar, the difference in color make each Roma stands out on its own. Next, the Tomica Premium R50 by Itel Design. Standard Tomica Premium box that show different views of the casting on the pack. Scale for the GT R50 is 1 is to 63. The R50 comes with an add-on component for the rear. And unlike the main body, the rear is made out of soft ABS plastic. The spoiler looks fragile as well. Assembly is very easy without any effort. Usually the spoiler is online, if not, you just have to adjust yourself. The GTR50 is comprises of gun metal and gold. For the gun metal, the shade is lighter than what I expected. Like the details on the front grille and the GTR badge is sharp and legible. Realistic wheel sets without any suspension that rolls extremely well. Plastic base and the scale for the GTR50 is 1 is to 63. I actually prefer the gun metal shade to be darker so that it looks more premium and more fierce. Glad that the color and hues of the rear is totally consistent with the main body. Next, the GTR50 by Itel Design in commemorative color red. It seems like the R50 came out of Stark industry. Similar information on the packaging with just a difference in color. Two components, the rear and main body is included. Assembly is very easy and painless. Unlike the gun metal that is pearlized, the rear is flat in high gloss finish. Similar striking details on the front grille. Disappointed with the painted headlights. I would have expect more details for the R50. 
similar realistic wheel sets with no suspension and no opening parts. You can't really differentiate the rear from the main body because the color hue is so similar. It looks integrated and that's a good thing. But I would love to see the R50 in one whole unit instead of two. There's several other casting with add-on components like this, just like the R50 in the past. Surprisingly, I've preferred this Iron Man theme than the regular color. This casting will also be a very nice comparison with the Era car release, with the price that's slightly higher than this premium. The R50 and the Ferrari Roma really takes the spotlight for this month's release. Stay tuned for more upcoming Tomica features and remember to like, share, and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.